So today is going to be a very special video because today is my birthday and on my birthday I want to talk about one of my favorite topics, success, and what it means to me and how you could probably use it in your own life. We need to all those after this intro. Alright guys, what is going on? Lex here from the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your journey with less stress. Now, as I mentioned in the intro, today is indeed my birthday. Today is August 2nd, and I just turned 26 years old. Now, with it being my birthday, I wanted to make a Monday motivational video on a Friday, and it's because the way I look at my birthdays. My birthday to me, guys, is honestly the equivalent of what some of you guys may attribute to your New Year's resolutions. It's my time of the year to reevaluate and see how I can change my goals, my understandings, and my perspectives. And one of the most important questions I ask myself at this time is, what does it mean to be successful? Now, granted, everyone has their own definition. There's no right or wrong answer. I'll give you my take and maybe you, some of you guys can take something with it and attribute it to your own life. So first of all, what does it mean to be successful? Now, I used to have a different definition of success. I used to have an image of what success meant. It was probably a wealthy person who was well-educated, probably athletic, good family, good person, good characteristics. That, that's kind of my definition of what a successful person looked like. They were an individual who everyone would look upon and say, man, I want to be that guy one day. I, I want to I want to have the lifestyle. I want to have the family. How, he's happy. You know, I want to have everything that he has because he looks happy. But then I realized, and I think a lot of you guys may have had um, this kind of epiphany too, is that sometimes all those things, the money, the family, the lifestyle, doesn't make you happy. So that definition of success wasn't true. So then I had to ask myself, okay, well, if that's not success, then what is? So then I had to create a new definition of success. So here we go. Success to me, guys, is when you can look back at yourself in the past at some point, whether it's a month ago or a year ago, and remember yourself encountering something difficult. So for my pre-med you know, or medical student of yours, it may be something like the MCAT or step one. And you were at a point at that time where you're like, man, I don't know if I can do it. Study schedule, the hours, I don't even know if I'm smart enough to take this. I don't know if my score is gonna pan out. There's a lot of ifs and a lot of doubts. But ideally, the results were in your favor. So success to me, guys, is when you can look back at that person before taking the MCAT, before taking that important test, and saying, if I was to do that again right now, I would consider it tough. And that person in the past, a year ago, a couple of months ago, was able to do it and overcome all those obstacles, that person is successful. Because even today, for me, that would be tough. So when you can evaluate yourself in the past, overcoming something that was really challenging, even for the person you are today, that is success. So am I successful today compared to the person I was yesterday and a month ago and when I was 25? Absolutely. I have overcome a lot of obstacles to get to this point. There are things that have happened the last 365 days and I was like, man, that's tough. I have no idea how I got through it. Residency interview, step two exam, there's so much more. And there are going to be things that I encounter in the age of 26 that my 27 year old is going to say, hmm, he was able to get through it. He was a successful 26 year old. Am I successful? And for me, honestly, the answer is if I compare myself to a month ago or a year ago, the answer is absolutely yes. But am I successful forever? That's the real question. And the answer to that, at least to me, is no. You know, I think success is a progressively moving finish line. And as soon as you get to the peak of one mountain, you realize there's a lot more climbs left to be made. So that is kind of my definition of success, guys. It's why I'm always working so hard to always kind of be better than the person I was yesterday. Otherwise, what was the point of today? Again, that was a long-winded way of me reevaluating my 25-year-old. I think it was a very great year. The website, the blog, the YouTube channel have done so well, and I really have all of you to thank for it, for at least watching the videos, making it to the end, hitting that like button, and subscribing to the channel. Thank you guys so much for the support you've shown this channel and to me on my journey. Hopefully, I've been a little help to you on yours. But if you enjoyed this video, a humble request to go ahead and smash that like button and to subscribe to the channel. And also 
also in the comment section drop your own definition of success i'd love to hear what you guys think and looking forward to watching this video when i turn 27 so here's to another 365 days of constantly moving forward hopefully you guys will join me and thank you guys so much for joining me on my journey hopefully i've been a little help to you on yours and i'll see you guys as always in the next one take care my friends